Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. And the topic of this 10 minute moan is a rather disturbing example of how a chunk of society wish to erode British standards. Now there's something that all my life has been quite a precious British um, tradition. And that is, on the 11th of November, or the nearest Sunday to it, we stop and we pay our respects to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. I mean, don't only celebrate British soldiers or whatever, it's all our soldiers who can be from anywhere. And particularly, um, I think in Ireland, that's a good, good example of who we remember when we pause once a year to show respect for people who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our benefit. And I remember being back at school as a child, some in the late 70s, and I was always excited around Poppy Day because this class would stop for a, a moment each day and one of the older pupils would come in with a tray of poppies and a poppy can. And every day for about a week, we were given the option to buy a poppy. I used to plead my mum every day for a poppy. Can I get more money for a poppy? I used to just love it. And I love what it meant back then as a, as a five to ten year old kid in Linwood at his Fulton Primary. And I, and I started to understand then what the poppy meant. And it's a wholesome, good thing to respect these people through the generations who have, in many wars, paid the ultimate sacrifice. And the poppy's not sectarian, the poppy's not bigoted, the poppy knows no colour. The poppy is for anybody, regardless of their race, their religion, or of their initial nationality. It is there to pause once a year and pay respect to these people. And I've always had this thing about remembering on that day. So much so that this one in my chest we design every year for a kids football club that I started nine years ago. And we don't force the kids to put it on. We hand it to their parents. And we say to their parents, if your kid wants to wear this in their jersey on Remembrance Weekend, then please do so. And each family will make the decision themselves. And that's how important it is to me that the kids nowadays are taught the same lessons I was taught 40 odd years ago in East Fulton Primary. And <clears throat> I often remember the first time I went to Turkey and it taught me that every nation has standards and celebrations and things that they, they hold dear. And this would have been 96-ish, so going back nearly 30 years. And in the bus ride from the airport into the, the resort we were staying at, the tour guide pointed a poster of a guy called Ataturk. And they told us on the bus that the Turkish people really pay a lot of respect to him. And he's got statues and posters across every major city in the country, or at least they did back then. I've not been to Turkey for several years, but back then... And what we were told was they, they have so much pride in this man, they actually call him the father of Turkey. And you're told to pay respect as a visitor to their country. Don't snigger, point, laugh, or do anything derogatory because the people of Turkey were so proud of their traditions of this man. And I, I see a lot of similarities to our tradition in the United Kingdom, the Remembrance Day. But I see no such calls for others to respect. Not even respect our Remembrance Day, but respect our right to have a Remembrance Day. Don't mock it. Don't go against it. And if you don't want to take part in it, that is actually fine. That is a perfectly acceptable option. But don't stop others from doing it. And I've been, <laughs> I saw this last night in Birmingham. There is a Remembrance Day 
demonstration. That's the title of this act that's been planned for Sunday the 10th of November in Birmingham City Centre. The mere title of what they're doing is a Remembrance Day demonstration. On Sunday the 10th of November, they'll gather outside the Barclays Bank. Barclays Bank. This is a bank that's seen a lot of protests recently from people who hate Israel, don't like Jewish people. In the background of the poster for this event is a bastardisation of the poppy. So it's very, very easy to look at this without even reading too many of the words to understand the true reason for this demonstration. And twice they mention martyrs. The first down the bottom left it says honouring our strong martyrs. And then on the right hand side, join us to honour martyrs. And then as an almost as an afterthought, and mourn the murder of innocent Palestinians for 76 years. So who are these martyrs? Who would lose their life in battle for Palestine? Well, that's terrorists. That's quite an easy one to... Um, Fine, you know, these, these martyrs, because that's how they are described in their uh, religion. And I'll come back to religion in a minute, because I'm not bringing religion to the table here. The people who are organising this are bringing religion to the table as well. And in their religion, people who die in battle, in jihad, etc., are considered martyrs. So that's who they are wanting to honour. And the reason I can bring religion into this is very, very simple. It's already there. Because also on the same poster, we're told, prayer note, come, we die, ablution, as we will be praying in congregation. Now, now we do an ablution. That's when the um, Muslims have to cleanse themselves to, to prepare themselves for prayer, which is part of one of the most significant things in their religion. So what they're saying is, they're telling everybody to do this, so this must be aimed at Muslims. So all these Muslims have to come and gather in Birmingham on Remembrance Sunday for a demonstration where they want to honour people who have died in jihad, i.e. terrorists. It's been a long time since we have battles between Christianity and, and, and Islam. These are centuries old. So the modern day martyrs are ones who have maybe blew themselves up, etc. And then we have to honour them in the streets of Birmingham on Remembrance Sunday. There is 51 other weekends in the year that these people need to do it on that one. Now, when you look at the poster, there's other, down at the bottom we've got all the people who are supporting this demonstration and celebration to honour Islamic martyrs. And most of them are, as you would imagine, pro-Palestinian groups. Stand up for Palestine, Birmingham for Palestine, things like that. But there's two that actually quite concern me. One of them is the Socialist Workers' Party. But that shouldn't really be a surprise, because the Socialist Workers' Party is wanting to stand up for everything that is non-British. I can't remember anything I've ever seen in my life where the Social Workers' Party have actually celebrated anything British whatsoever. And the other one that really saddens me is Birmingham Trade Union Council. So there we have it again. Yet again, we see the trade unions getting behind something that is evidently anti-British and against our traditions. Now I keep hearing about inclusion and I keep hearing about and uh, people being involved and, you know, everybody being allowed to celebrate their own traditions. And I don't have a problem with that. I genuinely don't. But what we have here is another sign of not inclusion but exclusion. We are actually trying to stand against British traditions, but we have to welcome everybody else's. As British people were told that all the time, we must welcome and uh, allow everybody else their traditions. But here is an obvious attempt to totally destroy, disrupt, dis and disrupt a very good 
and wholesome British tradition. And that is paying respects on the um, Remembrance Sunday. Remembering people of all nationalities, all colours and all religions who gave the ultimate sacrifice. We were not allowed to do that. These people want to destroy that. And I'm kind of sick here. But what I would like you to do, I'd like to point your attention, for those of you who are on Twitter, X rather, I would like you to, I'll put the address up, go and follow, or at least have a look at, an account called Toby UK. And their address is at UK underscore Toby, T-O-B-I. And there, I've got a very good post. I'll put the link in the comments below. Trying to help prevent this. And they've come up with some good ideas. And they've come up with um, a template for an email, which can be sent to Lord Mayor of Birmingham, the PCC of Birmingham, and any local MPs and other government officials. And if you go onto the website, go, or sorry, the website, if you go onto their Twitter feed, um, I'll put a link to this particular post. There's a thread there. And not only does it tell you who you can write to, but they've given you a template. I'm writing as a concerned citizen to urge you to cancel the planned pro-Palestine demonstration scheduled, which coincides with Remembrance Sunday. This day is profoundly important to people across the United Kingdom as we unite to honour those who sacrificed their lives in defence of our nation and its values. It's a time for collective remembrance, respect and reflection, especially for veterans, their families and all who have impacted by service to our country. It's not difficult. It, but it really, uh, you know, when we use the, the example of my first visit to Turkey, we must be the only country in the world where we're told to, uh, you know, um, endorse everything but allow destruction of our own standards. And this isn't just a one-off. This isn't just a single thing of Britishness that we are... We actually have British people aiding it. And I can tell you that quite easily. Now, there may be these, these, these bodies that are supporting this effort. Um, there may be um, British people involved in Birmingham for Palestine, Stand Up for Palestine, Strength to Palestine, all these groups. May very well be. I don't know. But I know fine well, guaranteed, there are British people involved in the Socialist Workers' Party and the Trade Union Council of Birmingham. And these people are nothing but traitors. Telling me that I must allow inclusivity in the United Kingdom is one thing. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem. But when we have British people joining to celebrate martyrs, terrorist martyrs, and a only Islamic thing, because we're told here, come with your stuff as we will be praying in congregation, right? To stand against a British standard, a British tradition of paying respects to the fallen dead and wars across the world. It's sick. And I'm sick of it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe and notifications button. Please give me your comments below. But most importantly of all, unless you're the type of person that screams for everything to be accepted and then tries to destroy British traditions, not you, but... Everyone else, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.